Ask me anything by reticle. Hello. I am a survivor of a terrorist attack. Ask me anything regarding life after the event. I am a survivor of the 2013 Boston Marathon attack in which three people, including a young boy, lost their lives in the result. I was at the finish line that day waiting for my dad, who was running in it, and very close to the first explosion out of the two. I was 11 at the time, now 18 years old, no major injuries, which I'm extremely lucky to say, as I was surrounded by bloodied and injured bodies after the blast psychologically messed me up for a while growing up i still have nightmares to this day although not as crippling or as frequent as i used to feel free to ask me anything you've wanted to ask a survivor of something like this i'm an open book about the situation as it helps me accept and move past it my dad's medal from the race truepic.com link did you get any state assistance for things like continued therapy no got nothing from the state following the event what happens in your nightmares? Typically there are plays of the event except in alternate scenarios where I or my family get severely injured or even killed. Luckily they don't seem to happen as much anymore. How did you feel about the email advertisement error congratulating people on surviving this year's marathon? Was it emotionally disturbing or did you not really care? I have a dark sense of humor so nowadays I find it pretty damn funny. I didn't see it when it initially happened but I'm sure it still wouldn't have bothered me since it was a wording error on their part. Did you have a feeling something wasn't right before the explosion? Or did everything feel normal? Everything felt pretty normal. There was no indication that something was about to happen until it did. How does it feel to be in the middle of a terrorist attack with nothing to do? What was the thought process? I'm not sure nothing to do is the right way to word it haha. After the initial shock I quickly realized that something serious was happening and that I was in danger. Naturally, fight or flight kicked in and soon enough I was running through the streets of Boston with my family to a place that felt safe enough to take a second to process what had just happened and figure out how to get home. Your only thought in those kinds of moments is how you're gonna get out of there alive really. Did it affect your life goals? What you wanted to become and the kind of person you are. Did your perspective on world stay the same? I turned to art soon after as an escape. Started drawing and now I'm going to college for graphic design and marketing. So in a way, yes, it led me to find something I'd later become passionate about in terms of my life goals. As for my perspective of the world, it made me more thankful for every single day I live through. Realizing that I, and anyone in my life, could be gone in an instant makes me appreciate things more. It's very corny but that's how I've seen life since I've gotten over it. I've made peace with my morality at a young age and I've learned to embrace it. I try to be as true to myself as possible. I've learned to always look at the bright side of even the shittiest situations. Overall I've just become a very grateful person. Did your opinions viewpoint on Islam and Muslims change after the terrorist attacks? I recognize that there are extremists in most groups of people and that it doesn't define the entire group itself. There are radical Muslims just as there are radical Christians, radical left and right winged people, you name it. Every group has them but as long as the group condemns those people's actions then my viewpoints won't change toward them. Users, please be wary of proof. You are welcome to ask for more proof if you find it insufficient. OP, if you need any help. Please message the mods here. Thank you. I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Every day I walk to work. I walk across the Boston Marathon finish line and think about you and the rest who endured that atrocity. Do you ever go near it? I've yet to come there alone to reflect on things and stuff. As I would like to one day. However, I've been back there a few times for trips to the city and I've stood in the same spot whenever I've returned to the marathon to watch my dad run in the years after. He's ran it every year since 2013 which was his first Boston marathon. Did you take anything away from this experience? Such as pointers or tips on how to live your life? I let things go very easily. Hold no grudges. Have no regrets. See the good in things. Love people wholeheartedly or not at all. I don't hold back if I have something I want to say or do. I work hard for the things I want. I live as freely and honestly as possible because I know that each day isn't promised. 
reading how you live your life now I find it amazing. I wish I could be like you. If you could would you take it all back and never go through it or would you stay on this path as bad as it was? And why? This one is definitely a tough one as I've thought about it myself. Realistically, no one wants to go through a traumatic event. You would think the logical thing is to want to go back and protect myself. To somehow stop myself and my family from ever going there. I honestly think that if it had led me down a messy path or left me with extreme PTSD then I'd say yes. 100%. However, I know that I wouldn't hold the same beliefs about the value of human life that I do without the experience. If I could somehow erase the trauma while still keeping the mentality I have then I completely would. But I'm not sure if I'd take every part of it back. Did you develop trust issues afterwards? Or any sort of agoraphobia? And in your usual social environments? Would you say the people who knew what you'd gone through gave you any special treatment? As in friends? teachers, even relatives, how did their interactions towards you change if at all? I wouldn't say I'm agoraphobic, although if I'm in a very large and crowded public space, concert, state fair, etc, I make myself aware and familiar with my surroundings just in case I need to. As for social environments, after it happened my mom told my school's faculty so that they would avoid anything potentially sensitive around me just in case. Teachers definitely kept an eye on me and made sure I could go to a guidance counselor when they could see I was having a hard time. That lasted until I went to high school. I stated in another answer that I'm a fan of dark humor so any difference with my friends would be the level at which they can joke around with me. Because humor is how I cope with things. They can make some crazy jokes about it and they know I'll find it funny. Which I think is nice because it makes the topic less awkward to tread on. I've had friends get invested in it and try to pity me but that's the last thing I want. I'm very much over the fact that it's happened and I've made my own peace with it so there's no reason to have such pity. And I try to make that known. So that hopefully I won't get treated differently. If I can ask. Has this event in your opinion changed maybe the paths you would have thought her relatives or family would take in life? Mostly mean like was someone in her family motivated by this to join the forces or something? Some of my family members who were with me that day have joined the air force and some have become police officers. I've actually considered it myself as well, although not directly because of this event. My family has some military history so that's the only influence behind it. Do you ever have survivor's guilt? 100%. To this day I sit back and wonder where the people who lost their lives would be today if they were still here. Especially with the youngest victim. Who was 9 when he passed. I think about all of the high school memories I've made and how he'll never get to experience that. I mourn for him because he'll never get to experience life in any aspect. He was the icon of peace in a time of tragedy. It absolutely breaks my heart and I never even knew him personally. The thought of why him. And not me? Why do I get the privilege of living when he never even got a chance at life? Was stuck in my brain for a long time. I just had to come to terms with the fact that life sucks and some people sadly pass away too soon. And the good truly do die young. Survivor's guilt is absolutely real and it's devastating. What were the thoughts going through your head during the explosion? How accurate is the movie Patriot's Day for you? It's been quite some time since I've watched it so my answer might not be 100%. But from what I remember I think that they depicted the storyline of the hours after the event fairly decently. I don't see a reason as to why they had to be a movie on it in the first place. Probably just to throw Wahlberg in there because he's from the area. Who knows. I appreciated the love conquers hate message that they depicted though. What was running across your mind when the terrorist attacks were happening? What sensation did you feel? Fight or flight. I just wanted to be as far away from the situation as possible. I knew that something bad was happening and I didn't want to be in harm's way. How close were you from dying? Not exactly sure. I'd say I was about 20-30 feet from the first initial explosion and I'm lucky I didn't get very critically injured. Whoa. I was 9 at the time of the bombing. I was there with my family watching a relative race. I've had a lot of people become shocked when I tell them this so. 
Have you had any strange or overly sympathetic or even funny reactions when you tell people about you being in it? Sometimes people want to empathize with me. Most of the time my friends and I just kinda joke around about it because that's just my sense of humor. With the exception of this post, a lot of people I interact with don't know I was there when it happened. So reactions don't happen often. Has there been a day since where it hasn't crossed your mind at all? How do you feel about Tom Holland's Spider-Man exiting the MCU? Asking the important questions. Did you get hurt or see someone get seriously injured or killed? Edit. Sorry didn't read the full description didn't see that you saw someone get injured. That's okay. I luckily didn't get any injuries. Just some soreness from the force of it. Same goes for the rest of my family that was there. I saw injured people on the ground around me but I didn't see anyone die. I honestly don't know how I managed to not even get a scratch considering the force of the blast shoved me directly into the barrier I was leaning on moments before. Pure luck I suppose. Thanks for watching this reticle video. Subscribe for the best reddit videos straight to your feed 3 times a day.